Right now, I think I have a date with two Blangongas. Two roars in the snow, hunt two Blangongas, uh, mount and topple the monster twice as the subquest. I've got to watch out, because I have ridiculous ice resistance. And by ridiculous, I mean terrible ice resistance. Aff uh, affectionate soup? No, nah, exquisite rice. I'll go with exquisite rice. So I want hot drinks for this. I should also bring cleansers as well. Seems like a smart thing to do. Uh, cleanser, cleanser, cleanser. Here we are. Four of them. I don't know why not. Oh, quest description. Almost forgot. It all happened so fast. These two Blangongas showed up and wrecked all I had. I want to rebuild my life, but there's no way I'm going up there with those things. Help me get my life back. All right, fine. Sure. I have no life, so it only stands to reason that I should help people out with their lives. All right, back in the Arctic Ridge. This should be fun. And by fun, I mean not really. Because Blangonga is interesting, but annoying at the same time. Blangonga is just an annoying monster. Especially in high rank when he chains those slingshot, not slingshot, what am I thinking of? Clothesline attacks together. Slingshot attacks, that's kind of what he does. He just winds up his fist and slingshots himself across the area. And it has ridiculous tracking on it. The tracking on that attack is just... I, I don't know how to describe it. It's gnarly, man. Hello, Gia Prey. I don't care about you, unsurprisingly. Alright, Gut. It's time to fight you again. You again! I'd like to mount you, please. Oh, right as you were trying to escape. What? Did his does it did his thing his body slam summon the blangos? If it did if if that did that is stupid and ridiculous and bad all in one. What? Uh, just blangonga he moves too much. He just, he's too mobile. Oh! He tried to be mobile, but I guess not. Ride that Blanganga. Nope, you, you had your chance, buddy. You had your chance to squirm. And now I've got a fire weapon, which I didn't have last time we fought. Oh, right in the face. Really? Stupid monkey. Gotta break those fangs. Or else his every roar will summon Blangos. That... That punch, man. I also hate that attack, because it comes out of freaking nowhere. Look at that, and it covers mad distance. Dumbass, look over here. Oh my god, really? Really, Blanganga? You had to do this. You had to make my life miserable. Of course you did. It's, it's Captain Gut, you know? That snow attack looks pretty awesome, though.
Yeah, I know you body slammed me, but you got a fire slash attack to the gut, so. Did I just make a pun there? I think I I think I just made a pun. What do you know? Oh no. <laughs> he missed me there. Is that a second? No, it was not a second mount. Oh my god, really? Let me hit your frickin' fangs. Missed me with that clothesline, by the way. Yep, here he comes. Moving around. Moving way too frickin' much. Oh my god. Stop moving. Come on. Keep missing me. Oh my god, so many attacks! He just backs up, jumps to the side, backs up again, clothesline, back to the side, jumps. Another jump. Oh, I actually managed to properly dodge that that time. Awesome! I'm learning! Ah! Oh, this monster. I gotta fight two of them. Unfair. Kezu's still worse, though. I will say that nothing is as bad as Kezu. Yeah, sorry. Not falling for that. Stop moving. My god. He covers so much distance so unnecessarily quickly. See? See what I mean? Look, look at that. And that last jump carried him halfway across the frickin' map. I call that unfair, wouldn't you? Nice. Fang's broken. No, let me collect your boss's shiny. Blangonga pelt, nice. Time to do some maintenance while I'm here. Oh, he left another shiny. Is it... Is it poop? It better not be poop. Oh, here, here, here he comes. He doesn't want me digging up his poop. That's his business, not my business. Literally, it's his business. Speaking of business, he's also limping. Hey, stupid. Okay, um, yes, hot drink. Please. Um, the Blangongo we're chasing probably went to Area 7. If not, then he went straight to 3. Which would have been a smart decision on his part. I'm not gonna lie. No, he's an idiot. He decides he still wants to fight. Oh, he made a snowman out of my cat. I actually dodged that? My god. Yeah, I don't know button combinations, apparently. That random snowball just flew and, like, slammed into his face. Blangos, wow. <laughs> that, that clothesline, my god. I love that. 
And you two can die. Or not. All right. Carving time. Carving time is my favorite time. Oh my god. Stupid baboon. Honestly, some minions are just so annoying when you're trying to carve. The worst ones, I think, are the Blangos and the Preys, the Raptors. Especially when you're trying to gather. I mean, have you noticed how badly those Raptors hound you when you're trying to mine or catch bugs? They're just pouncing all over you 24-7. I should probably set the targeting camera to the other Blangonga. Might be a prudent thing to do. Hey, you there. Did you poop? I see a shiny. We don't need more Blangos. Less is more, Blangonga. That tracking, my god. Ah, oh. there was jumps. I hate this monster. Right now I do. I definitely don't hate him as much as I hate Kezu. Because Kezu is just the definition of a dick. That, that's Kezu. You know why? Because he's literally the penis monster. Oh my... Okay. You know what? Blangonga? I'm killing your buddies first. Oh, he heard me. He's like, oh, you're killing my buddies? Not happening, bro. And then he tosses a snowball halfway across the area. To try and crush me as I crushed his brothers. More of this crap, huh? One more mount. That's all I need to complete the subquest. Get your ass on the ground. He's getting his groove on. Alright, time to stab him in the back. I'm a backstabber. I'm literally a backstabber. I have time to hack at his face and hopefully break his face. Because that face of his cannot get any uglier. Did I actually knock him out with that with those impact files? I hope to god I did. That would have been awesome. Okay, he definitely put an end to my uh, whale fest there. That was weird. He hit the invisible wall and, like, somersaulted. Nice try, Blangonga. You're not clotheslining me anytime soon. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Remember that Ar Remember that Arzuros? That Arzuros that even when I was hacking at his face, didn't notice me until I broke his forelimbs. That is some Arzuros level crap that Blangonga just did right there. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just gonna go for a leisurely stroll in the middle of a battle for my life. That's Kezu level, actually. Except he wasn't, like, philosophizing about his life's choices. He was just... He was straight up going on a little picnic walk. A walk in the snow. Admiring the beauty of Christmas.
You really could stop doing that, you know, Blanganga. I mean, just a suggestion. Not happening. Dodge too early there. Invisible wall. Clothes line, yay. Love that attack. Please do it again, Blengonga. And by please do it again, I mean please don't. Fang's broken. I heard the crack. Nice adept there. His, I grabbed his some more poop. You can never have enough poop, guys. That's a, that's a life lesson you should learn. You can never have enough poop. Oh, no. Also, Adept is awesome. Uh, you should. That's another life lesson to learn. Adept is a lifesaver. What? Uh, okay. I guess he hit me from out from underneath him as he was... You know what? This this stupid Blango. He's got to go. There we go. Dead. I love the shield too. Shield is useful. Definitely, it is. Nice. And there we go. I actually killed him. Right before he was about to sit on me, too. I just saved my own life there. He was about to sit on me. My god. So that was two roars in the snow. Of course, I stopped those roars cold, but, uh, what can you do? I'll tell you what you can do. You can do what I did. You can kill him. Kill him dead. I've still got time for another quest or two, so how about some laggy? Some laggy action. And then, assuming that takes up all of my uh, recording time, I can do the Fungus Fetch, the Late Jurassic Excursion, and the Lagia Crushed in the next recording session, and follow that up with the Urgent. That would be great, actually. I would love to follow that up with the Urgent. And then after the urgent's done, I st there are still a few more last final quests I can do before the end of low rank and before I start Pokemon Moon. I hope you guys look forward to it. I know I am. I'm certainly looking forward to it. 